So in my last video, I spoke about this setup, or how we set up a load balancer with a one arm mode behind the LDR. Um, right now, today, we're going to set up a load balancer in the inline mode, or also proxy mode. Um, I've created a new drawing for this, and right now we're going to use this load balancer, or this ESG here, as the load balancer. As you can see, this IP address here will be the well VIP address, and um, I will configure it in a way that it will hit this VIP address and it will load balance between these two web servers here. Um, uh, in order to do that, we of course need to have routing working, and that's already working in OSPF. Um, another thing that I'm going to do a little bit different is the following. I'm going to, um, well, make a security tag and I'm going to assign this server and this server to that security tag and I'm going to place that in a group and I'm going to load balance based on that group. So it will be a little bit different, so a little bit variation. In my last video I uh, selected the VMs in order or uh, well in order to load balance too um, but right now I'm going to load balance based on a tag uh, that is in a group so if you have a new web server you just tag it and it will be placed in in a group and then you will be able to load balance it uh, based on the way how you configure it of course so let's start um, let's first start with uh, adding the tag so here in the NSX manager you will be able to well, here in the manage and then the security tag tab you will be able to um, well, create a tag so let me create a tag LB for load balancer or LB web Let's call it LB Web. It let's hit OK, and now the tag is created. So right now, if I right-click on it, I can assign the security tag. And let me select the two web servers where I want to assign the security tag to. So that will be Web Server One and Web Server Two. Let's hit OK. So right now, the you see a two here. Now you see that LB Dash Web the security tag is assigned to two virtual machines. So let's create a security group and let's call this LB sec group. So let's hit next and I want to have uh, crit criteria where I want to match on. I want to match on a security tag and the security tag is equal to LB dash web. So let's hit next and there's not a different thing that I want to change so right now just it will just hit finish and uh, well I have now created an LB sec group with, um, well, and this basically matches on the load balancer tag lb-web. So let's start configuring the load balancer, the inline load balancer. So let's go back. And we see three edges here. This one was used for the one R mode. And we're going to use this one here. Uh, let me see if I can find it in the drawing. Yeah, we, we we're going to use this one here as the one in line. So let's double click. Well, enabling the load balancer is basically the same action. We just go here and we hit enable. In the application profiles, we are going to define what type type of application it is. So let's just call it application profile. It's going to be HTTP and we're going to just leave the rest default. So let's do the service monitoring. 
service monitoring is basically there are already, already three monitor uh, types available so we're going to use HTTP um, the pools we need to define so that will be pool and I want to use the round robin algorithm um, I want to use HTTP what I just told you the members um, well members um, the, 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 well, the virtual machine members that I want to use is I don't want to use uh, a, a virtual machine anymore but I want to use a security tag or a security group so right now I'm just going to use the security group and I'm going to use the LB sec group um, I could also use a security tag only but uh, well I put the tags into, into the group to make it well nicer uh, let's port 80 the monitor port will also be port 80 and let's hit OK OK this is my baby that you guys are hearing at the moment making sounds while I'm, while I'm uh, recording this video um, so let's create a virtual server and the virtual server is basically the VIP and the VIP is let me give it a name web um, in line and the IP address that I'm going to select is well the outside IP address of the of this ESG uh, protocol is HTTP the port is 80 and the default pool that I'm going to use is the LB pool that I just created in the pools so when I'm finished with this video my baby will also be uh, able to configure load balancing in the N6 on the ESG in uh, the inline mode. Let's hit OK. And right now we see that everything's created. So let's do a quick test. Um, as you can see on the drawing, we just need to connect to 10.10.105.254 and that will redirect us to either one or web server two. So let's let's try that to see if it works. And there you go, it will, well, it's starting with two right now. So let's hit refresh. And you can see that it's back to one. Let's hit a couple of times, refresh to one, two. And that's it, so we see that this works.